Hi everyone, this is Shan. Welcome to our series. And in this video, we are going to present what's the procedure uh, to get the JRF award letter. Means, uh, we will present here the procedure by which you can get your JRF award letter within 5 to 10 days. If you follow this procedure, other than any other procedure stated in any other video, you can get by post your JRF award letter within at least 5 to 7 days. Okay, so uh, first you have appeared in the examinations, you have uh, filled up the form and try to remember one thing that when you are filling up the applications, you are getting an admit card. Keep this admit card very carefully to you because it's needed to get the GRF award letter when you will apply for the award letter. So if you can preserve that admit card, that will be very much good but if you don't uh, if you lose your admit card that also extremely fine there are no issue to uh, to get back your admit card if you lose it because if you have the mark statement or admit card any of the one so when you are applying for grf award letter you can see here the documents needed first is the mark statement of your uh, csir net examinations or your uh, admit card so if you don't have the admit card like me i have lost my admit card because this was csir 2018 december and now it's 2020 after may means in the month of july i am applying for the grf award letter so it's normal that i have lost my admit card for the csir 2018 december but i want the grf award letter for that particular examinations so uh, because you know uh, you will appear uh, twice or thrice for the JRF examinations but you will apply for the best rank in between these three exams whatever you have achieved okay so uh, my for my case it was the CSIR 2018 December that was the best rank I got that's why I applied for the JRF award later 2018 and in the year 2020 July so normally I lost my admit card but I had the mark statement so you can understand if you have the mark statement then you can get the admit card how I will state later or if you have the admit card you can get the mark statement by the same procedure I will state later okay now what's the other document you needed you can see here the OBC SCST certificate first was the mark statement and then OBC or SCST certificate is not applicable for general category. Now, what's the certificate you needed for OBC SCST? There are a particular format. How can you get that from where you have to uh, download that? I will show. Don't worry. And then you have to show the income certificate for the CSIR particular format. It's not the income certificate uh, assigned by your um, gadgeted officer or your municipality. It's a particular format you have to provide to them. Otherwise, they will delay to uh, serve your certificate. And the next three important things from your MSc result you have to supply that first provisional certificate means there it will be written that you have passed your CSI, your uh, MSc from the particular institute. And next one is the GPI or uh, CPI to percentage conversion. CPI to percentage conversion, not GPI, sorry, the CPI to percentage conversion means uh, some institute like IIT, NIT or IISC or uh, ISERS give your CPI, not percentage marks. So then you have to supply your CPI to percentage conversions and lastly you have to supply your transcript certificate from MSc. So transcript is actually a result whatever grades you have got in first two third fourth second uh, fourth semesters that university your university or your institutes will make a transcript so this last three things provisional certificate cpi to percentage conversions and transcript you have to apply to your institution ms institutions okay and then they will supply you and that you have to mail to a particular mail id to get your certificate grf our letter certificate now these three things is very important obc sgst certificate if you are under this category and income certificate how can you get that now you have to download nta or means national testing agency or csir hand uh, handbook so when you are applying for the examinations you know you have a handbook isn't you have a hand you had a handbook that time 
please preserve the handbook because in this handbook actually you have appendix sections so you have to go uh, uh, extreme last portions of this handbook so I know the page number that's why I'm giving that one so this is for my handbook page number 61 here you can see everything has done now here appendix is starting from here so here you can get the OBC certificate OBC certificate format okay this two uh, OBC certificate format there are two pages but for our cases it was only one page so you have to download these two pages okay you can understand you have to download these two pages format of OBC certificate okay and next one is the format of uh, caste certificate like SC or ST you have to also download okay which you what you have to write in this blanks I will show you don't worry okay so these are the SCST certificate or OBC certificate you have to download and then you have to make this certificate by authorization I will show which authorization it will do and next physical handicapped also the same thing and next uh, that you have to make a certificate for your income so what is that income certificate form yeah just a minute i am showing you so uh, this is percentile score is not needed okay this also is not needed for us uh, minority is not needed for us okay so this is the income and asset, asset certificate you can see in the appendix section itself in the appendix section itself of the handbook of your JRF uh, let's say 2019 2018 any year you will get the appendix section everything that OBC SCST certificate and income and asset certificate so here you have to fill up the income and asset certificate how you have to fill up which you have to write I will show don't worry so this is the PDF I am showing this PDF is actually handbook you have got in time of filling up the application now coming back to our PPT uh, you can see here the mark statement you have got mark statement is what let me show first the mark statement okay this one so after uh, appearing the examinations when your result will be out if you uh, got your JRF then you will obviously get this type of mark statement you have to download and please preserve you don't have to preserve admit card that much carefully that is fine because you can get later time uh, admit card by mailing your mark statement but if you preserve your mark statement that is very much helpful for you to get later time the uh, award letter certificate so this is the mark statement part a part b part c marks and the result and rank it will be written here please preserve this mark statement very carefully now coming back to the next obc scst certificate uh, that i have shown how you can download the obc scst certificate now here i am showing one sample of obc certificate is that uh, here you have to write your name and son of something and then village town something something and there you have to write again the same thing this all the things you can copy from your original OBC SCST certificate and then you have uh, subdivisional officers let's say uh, anyone in Barakpur district they have to fill up it by subdivisional officer of Barakpur so you have to go to SDO office you have to go to SDO office and you have to make a you have to take a sign from SDO officer you can see here subdivisional officer Barakpur and they will give you a stamp and that is the certificate you have to mail to the particular email ID I will show next one is the income asset certificate income and asset certificate you have to fill up the income and asset certificate as of your income your family income okay you can see here this is Shion Kundu son of something a permanent resident of Ato Ato uh, and is going to apply for the income certificate okay so his family income below race 8 lakh you have to just fill up everything what you have downloaded from that particular uh, particular website means particular handbook and this you don't need section 2 you don't need here you have to uh, sign it by municipality not SD office for this one you don't have to go to SD office you can sign it by your municipality here you can see the structure uh, the stamp of what a municipality for my case it was the municipality and here executive officer will shine it okay municipality will give you the stamp but executive officer have to be have to sign it okay here you have a picture I have uh, erased my picture because I am too ugly to see okay now 
coming back to next uh, things that these things so income is done obc is done scst is done now provisional certificate cpi to conversion percentage conversion and transcript these three are very important and mind it this transcript is also very important if you are applying abroad for your phd every university you would have to supply your transcript from your msc institute now this is the kind of percentage to cpi or cpi to percentage conversion certificate you will get from your institute okay so here you can see you have to apply to your institute sir please supply me our cpi to percentage certificate uh, to apply for myself uh, for my jrf award later they will supply this type of certificate and this may vary that don't you have to don't worry uh, this may vary for our case it was uh, at Ikanpur and they have uh, given us this type of certificate okay now next one is the provisional certificate you have to just write a mail to your doa or dosa or anything any university um, uh, university committee who look at look into this matter that i need a provisional certificate for my two year degree two year master degree they will give this one type of certificate where it will be written that this is certified mr uh, something roll number something uh, successfully completed his masters okay this is called provisional certificate this, this thing you have to supply to that particular mail id to get your award letter okay and next one is the uh, okay next one is the uh, we have uh, completed the CPI to uh, percentage conversions, provisional certificate and transcript as I have said transcript is nothing but the your grade card, your grade card throughout your MSc, first semester, second semester, third and fourth. You have to just apply that I need transcript but it will charge something, let's say for our IIT Kanpur it charges uh, uh, 1500 so you have to give some payment and then they will supply you the transcript for your MSc. Now after all the things you have to mail this all the things by stating that sir I have appeared uh, CSIR 2019 December and I have successfully cleared JRF please supply my JRF award letter with due respect can I request to supply my JRF award letter you have to mail in this mail ID head hrdg at the rate of CSIR hrdg.res.in or you can also mail exam unit dot at the rate of CSIR hrdg okay now if you lost your admit but you have the mark statement you have to also mail in this email id the second one exam unit that stated uh, that uh, please provide my admit card i have lost it they will look after the matter okay now next thing after doing all the things you have to mail this all the things in the particular mail id as i have shown this one and this one mail first this one and make a cc to this mail id okay this all the informations all the documents you have to mail to this particular email id and cc means at attach another email id in this particular mail this one second one okay now after doing all the things you will get this type of post and this will come within five days if you post it then it will take time please don't post mail it because they are quite active in their mail id so you have you have to uh, receive this type of post where this is the address they will write for your address and this is csir address and this type of envelope you will open you will get your jrf award letter boom bus it's you're done and you are now can claim yourself as a jrf and thank you very much for uh, watching this video if you have any question please write in the comment box and share it bye bye thank you see you in the next video this is shan bye bye